Hello everybody, it's Brian O'Hengese here, coach and nutritionist over at Triage Method. In this video, I'm gonna be telling you how you can eat more fiber in your diet. Now, first of all, why would we actually want to eat more fiber? Well, there's lots of reasons. Fiber is highly implicated in overall health, overall well-being, overall longevity. There will be people who make a case that, well, fiber is not a necessary uh, part of the diet. And while those people are correct, technically, you know, it's it's got a lot of health benefits. We think it's well worth consuming plenty of and hitting certain fiber targets. So that's what we're gonna tell you how to do. It may not be a clinically essential nutrient, but it's one of those things where if you eat more of it, you're gonna have a better time of your life. Your health's gonna be better. Longevity's gonna be better. It's a good idea generally, okay? Briefly, fiber is quite filling. So it helps with satiety, meaning that, you know, it's very appropriate for people helping to manage their body weight not gaining excess body fat, helping them to lose body fat. Fiber has a lot of roles to play in supporting healthy digestion. It can help resolve things like constipation. It can help resolve things like loose bowel movements or verging on diarrhea, depending on the situation, depending on the type of fiber that you consume. It also provides food essentially for your gut microbes, which then in turn use that to help to keep you healthy basically as a byproduct. And generally speaking, the fiber that you eat supports the proliferation of what we think are the healthier gut bacteria and therefore if you're trying to do something that is good for your gut health eating more fiber eating more plant foods eating a variety of them is a really really good idea fiber intake can also help manage blood sugars it can help things like clearing excesses of hormones as it binds to them in the body so it's quite a useful nutrient to consume and therefore we want to help people and make sure that they are consuming enough of it and when you consider that those fiber targets are like i said in around that 30 grams is probably a good rule of thumb for most people the reality is that fiber intakes in ireland the average is about 12 to 14 grams so clearly insufficient clearly only about half of what we really should be getting so that is the purpose of this video i'm going to teach you how to increase the fiber content of your diet before i do that i want to make a important point that if you increase your fiber intake massively over a very short period of time, you're probably going to have some digestive symptoms, okay? So to avoid that, to avoid digestive discomfort, stomach upset as a result of massive influxes of fiber, I usually recommend to people and my clients that they go, okay, we're working on your fiber intake. Let's try and get you eating an extra five grams or thereabouts per day for a week. So for example, if someone's eating 20 grams per day, usually, then we'll say, okay, let's try and get you up to 25 grams per day, first of all, for a week. That gives the good time to adapt and adjust to the higher fiber intakes, and it'll be smooth sailing. Then in week two, we might say, okay, cool, let's get you up to that 30 gram mark, and we'll just build on it like that, as opposed to me saying, okay, let's go from 15 grams up to 30 grams per day. That's, that's gonna be a bad time for you and your digestive system, so there's no need to rush it. Be conservative, take it handy, build on it over the course of maybe a few weeks, depending where you're currently at with your fiber intake, and it'll all be fine, and then you'll start reaping the benefits. So where do we actually get fiber in the diet? This is the meat and potatoes of this video. Potatoes, okay source of fiber. Meat, not so good as a source of fiber. But for the most part, you're gonna find fiber in carbohydrate-dense foods. So if you are aware what those foods are, you're gonna have an easier time eating more fiber. Now, there are quite often options between low fiber carbohydrates and higher fiber carbohydrates, but they are generally going to be carbohydrates of some sort, okay? So low fiber carbohydrates are gonna be the so-called white options. So white rice, white cereals, rice-based cereals, a lot of the higher sugar, more refined cereals are gonna be quite low in fiber, white pasta, all these sorts of things, okay? They're gonna be lower fiber, but the whole grain or brown counterparts to any of those will tend to be higher in fiber, okay? So this makes the, the sort of food decisions and the shopping decisions a lot easier, because it's like, okay, if I'm trying to increase my fiber intake, I'm gonna choose more whole grain carbohydrate sources, I'm gonna choose more brown carbohydrate sources, I'm gonna look at the back of the fiber content, I'm gonna compare, it's like, oh, okay, this slice of bread has two grams of fiber, whereas this slice of bread has one gram of fiber, so maybe I just go for the one that has two grams per slice, okay? These are the kind of decisions that you're gonna make in order to increase your fiber intake. It's not too tricky, but you just have to know what you're looking out for when you're putting your shopping lists together, and then you can end up making better decisions around this stuff. So there are higher fiber cereals, things like bran cereals, things like oats, great sources, all whole grains, a lot of health benefits to those as is shown by a lot of research overall. Next, we're gonna consider some of the other plant foods that also provide carbohydrates. So everybody knows that fruits and vegetables 
are very, very healthy, very, very nutritious. And one of the reasons they have health benefits is that they provide a good amount of fiber to us. So that's a really easy way to start increasing your fiber intake is start thinking, okay, I'm just gonna try and eat more fruits and vegetables. And I look at my meals across the day, am I eating several servings of fruit and veg or fruit or veg potentially at each of these meals? Am I having snacks that are built around these foods? If I'm not, then that's low hanging fruit, excuse the pun, to help you with your fiber intake, okay? Certain fruits are uh, extremely high in fiber, as you can see in this image here. Certain vegetables are higher in fiber than others, of course, but you can't really go wrong if you are just trying to consume more plant foods, more fruits and vegetables overall. So pulses and legumes, also a fantastic source of fiber. Things like beans, chickpeas, lentils, peas, they're all really, really good ways to get more fiber in. They're a really high fiber source of carbohydrates. So if you can incorporate those into your meals, you know, if you're making something like a chili con carne, you know, be heavy handed with the kidney beans. If you're making a curry, can you throw some chickpeas in there, some lentils in there? There's lots of ways you incorporate those into dishes. Even just the humble beans on toast is actually going to give you quite a lot of fiber because there's a lot of beans in that. If you're having that on whole grain bread, hey, that's another bonus again. So there are simple ways you can do this. You just have to give it a bit of thought and say, okay, look, this is actually what I'm trying to achieve at these meals. And then we move on to things like high fiber snack foods potentially, because these are becoming more prevalent in the food supply as time goes on. So you're seeing things like fiber rich bars, you know, cereal bars, fiber one bars, this kind of stuff that actually have quite a lot of fiber in them. You're even seeing things like fiber rich milk these days, which is also another way to get more fiber in. So, you know, companies are starting to cop on that eating more fiber is a health initiative that needs, needs acting on and therefore there's more options coming into the food supply, which is great. But again, just be cautious about eating too many of these or, or increasing your fiber intake too quickly or too rapidly because like I said at the start, you're gonna have a bad time if that's the case. You don't want that. So you just have to be considerate of this stuff because like if you go from drinking, you know, a liter of regular milk per day and then you go and have a fiber rich milk instead because you watch this video and say, oh, Brian was saying, you know, I need to eat more fiber, so I'm gonna have the fiber milk. And then you consume whatever it is, 25 grams of this chicory root fiber in this fiber milk, you're gonna have a pretty bad time I don't wanna live with you during that period. So just have a bit of cop on, a bit of common sense about this stuff. Don't drastically increase your fiber intake super rapidly. And really, you do want to get the majority of your fiber from the food sources, as opposed to the more refined, more processed snack sources. Um, that also gives you a bit more variety as well, which is generally important, you know, because if you're consuming just fiber from say the, the milk and the fiber one bars and things, you're getting the same source of fiber the whole time. It's always like inulin or chicory root fiber, which are the same thing used in those generally speaking. So it's not gonna give you a huge amount of variety. It's the same way you don't wanna just, you know, hit 20 grams of fiber from just bran flakes on a daily basis and say, well, that's two thirds of my fiber intake done. You're gonna miss out on some other nutrients. Now, are you hitting your fiber? Yes, is that good? Yes, certainly, but we wanna get you eating enough, and then we wanna obviously develop and round out the diet a bit more so that you're getting the full benefit from eating things like pulses and legumes, and you're getting the benefit from eating things like fruits and vegetables. This is the way you're going to go about increasing your fiber intake. These are the main steps you need to take. You're gonna look at carbohydrate foods specifically, you're gonna look at fruits and vegetables, you're gonna look at legumes, and you're gonna try and incorporate them into your diet. Another one I just thought of there, uh, the corn products, which are made from mycoproteins. You get things like corn mince, uh, corn like chicken pieces. These tend to actually be quite high in fiber as well and high in protein, low in fat, low in other carbohydrates. So very, very handy way to get even more protein, more fiber into your diet, which is a good idea. So that is all from this video, guys. I hope that was helpful. I hope this gives you some stuff that you can implement straight away next time you're in getting the groceries and doing the food shopping and get you on the path to eating more fiber and getting all the benefits that come with that.